come. Just that's all good. Out. Yeah, man, that's all good. I know it's Easter. I probably do. We'll probably do like a show on Friday or oh, something. Oh, it's but... Easter next week. It is Easter next week, man. Uh, I'm looking yeah. at the shop next week. Oh, then you're definitely not coming in. Um, yeah. It's March Madness week today. Th this week too, I, I man. I, I, I don't know what that is. I'm in first place so far, so um, I'm about to bring up the belt. I'm, no, I'm probably gonna get my ass kicked this next round, but uh, we'll see what's going on. Uh, no pickles today. He is working on the Boeing jet doors to make sure they are functioning, functioning correctly, Yo. and. Yo, but he's, I hope, he's I watching. Hope he, I hope he walks out of that place alive. The way, the way they doing people there. <laughs> when you were when you were talking about that last week, I was like, "What is he talking about?" And then like halfway through the convo, I was like, "Oh, that's right, dude. That's just crazy, though, man. That's crazy stuff." But I hope my man is all right. He's good. I hope he don't slip on a banana peel allegedly <laughs> <laughs> on his way out. Oh, uh, what? How? What? It's sunny over in New York. What's what's the weather look like today? Uh it's forty. It's forty. Oh, it's forty. Oh, okay. Yeah, 40, 40 something. Mm. They got they got the dogs out. With, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. So, like, yeah, today's today's uh, show was kind of a tough one. I would say that about a lot of shows, but like, it's a tough one for me. Star Wars is tough in general because, like, I put, like, some pretty specific, like, okay, like, this is probably people's, like, actual PC. Um, but there's a, lot, there's a lot of garbage freaking spec out there. Um, I'm not going to name names of people that, that you know, put it out there and whatnot. But, you know, we always try and do what's best for the community. And sometimes we're right, sometimes we're wrong. But, like, I'll definitely not do a show and then say, oh, buy this and then post it on a – ebay page or instagram selling deal and like try and get you to give it come in like a week after something comes out for five times the cover price it's not my thing man and, but, then, and then six months yeah. later it's worth like four months yeah six months and like that's just not sustainable man that's like that's like trying to invest in ipos dude like that's just not right to the community man and michael baker you are always welcome anytime my friend thanks for uh, showing coming through and yeah honestly man like i know we probably won't get a lot of people today because of uh, march madness but you know the acolyte show came out about a week ago we talked about a couple books last week but everybody seems angry about the show i mean you know what i'm people complain about anything so i mean i've seen people complain about x-men 97 i've seen people complain about the aliens movie that looks pretty cool um i've seen people complain about everything uh, the one thing I didn't see people complain about was Godzilla or Tokyo Vice or it's another show, the new Godzilla show on Apple uh, TV. But I mean, it was a one minute, 20 second trailer. Um, I think the writers of the show aren't really Star Wars fans, quote unquote. And, you know, the whole, I don't know, it's a, it's a weird kind of reaction to it. I'm not excited for it, but I'm not definitely like angry about it either. No, nah, so. I'm not either. I mean, what the? That's a crazy car. Yo, I got the new flip. Yeah. Is so. that a Porsche with a ghetto ass uh, spoiler on the, on the back? It was. It was. That's it was. Cool. Yeah. The, uh, so, so the thing about, I actually kind of like that the that the fans are or well, the writers aren't fans of Star Wars because you kind of get you kind of get like a new perspective on mm -hmm. how they see things mm -hmm. and and as long as they have star wars people there overseeing it you yeah. know and and making it make sense mm -hmm. uh, for the writers that are not fans right. i don't see a problem with it you know so. yeah i mean it's and it's like a sweet and see man if and if it doesn't turn out big deal you know if it if it does turn out then cool um i'm not i don't know if it's gonna be like i gotta get you know uh <laughs> I got to get, what should we call it, uh, Disney Plus again and, you know, all that. But there are a couple shows I do kind of want to get um, Apple Plus or Apple Plus, uh, Disney Plus again. Star Wars fans hate Star Wars more than anyone else. And, yeah, I think it's just like you know, it's like a sports fans, right? Like when your favorite team wins, like the Seahawks won the Super Bowl in 2013 and we we're making all these weird moves and you get used to kind of this like winning kind of culture. You and know what's so know crazy? I yeah. remember somebody telling me the Seahawks is going to be a dynasty. Dude, I was like, really? We were, man. We that damn, 
Russell Wilson, dude, like he took us to the Super Bowl and then took us to another one and threw an interception at the end of the game. Uh, if we would have won that game, dude, like, you know, we had like the best scoring defense like two, three, four years in a row, man. It was it was crazy, man. Um, but yeah, I think that's I think it's like that's what Star Wars has come to like right now. I know a few people didn't like Ahsoka. I actually enjoyed it. Um, I didn't mind Obi Wan. It's I think the problem is is you have these like you have these shows that go on for like eight episodes, and like when we were younger, well, definitely when I was younger. I mean, X Files, for example, was like twenty four episodes. So well, a season, a season, a season. It was an actual Minimal. season. Yeah, Minimal. and these these Star Wars shows or like any of the Marvel shows, they're just extended movies, right? But as a viewer, I feel like there's not enough character development. It's really hard to develop a character in nine to ten episodes, or six, or seven, or whatever, what have you. Yeah, so I, I think that's the I think that's the way that like they. I think that's the way stream, like streaming, like they're so scared to like. I know. I, I don't know. They're so scared to like weather the storm because a lot of the a lot of the more iconic TV shows that I remember, mm-hmm. they had like so many episodes per season, and yeah. some seasons didn't really do well, but the seasons after did phenomenal. Like mm-hmm. I was I was watching Cheers when I was a kid, Frasier, Seinfeld, and, uh, Family Matters. House and those things were running for how many seasons? You mean to tell me that like that they didn't have a bad season or two? Yeah. And 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 the studio didn't go, oh, one bad season, fuck out of here, cancel the whole shit. Yeah, like, it's it's weird. I don't know. I don't know what like the is shareholders just getting upset or like what or like you know there's not enough viewers and people just like will drop you know like a I I only drop a show because like if it's three episodes in and I don't like it. Then I'm gonna stop watching it, and then I'll cancel my service. If I knew there's more than like 15 episodes, I'm more vested. You know what I mean? So that's how I consume my content. That's just me, though. I'm one of well, do, 300 do billion you, people. Million. Do you think? Do you think now it's like people were kind of like I'm not gonna say we're kind of forced to watch it, but do you think like with now that we get to just access to whatever content we want, we could just well, maybe I don't like this episode or I don't want to drop it and now I'm going to go on another streaming service and find something else to watch. So back then, like, we, we, yeah. we didn't really have a variety of options. It was like, this is the Fox block mm-hmm. and they got these shows and it's either take it or leave it or go find another TV station, you know? So right. I, I, yeah. I, I, I think that plays into it a little bit as well. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think I think it's like I think a lot of it has to do with um, like I find myself trying to find a new show like right away because the show that I enjoyed is over so quickly and they don't expand on it for whatever reason. And I think I think I think streaming streaming is still in its infancy. I mean, literally, like we just got streaming like, I don't know, like two, three years ago with the pandemic. So I think I think studios are still trying to figure out like what's the good combo, um, but I find myself watching older stuff that I used to love, like X Files or um, old school X Men, you know, cartoons, Transformers, like that stuff. A little bit of nostalgia, but like honestly, it's a lot of good writing. Like I don't know how many times I've watched um, Sopranos, or uh, I'm gonna watch. A, a pickles favorite what's that one show with the um with the jail oz i haven't seen yeah, that oz. yet but i'm i'm gonna Jerry, definitely watch Jerry that Seinfeld was in an episode of oz. yeah and that's like well i mean well, how much of those shows like they were like so, so you know, many seasons yeah or even so, lost. lost yeah lost lost dude like ooh, like that was that that was cool but at the time but like yeah i mean then again they're, like, they're 24 episodes and you can Go through all of them. So yeah, it lost was six seasons. It was like ten years. It took ten yeah. years to complete. So yeah, and and maybe it's maybe that's the thing, man. Maybe it's like I don't know. Um, but again, I think it's still in its infancy. I think streaming services are going to get better. Um, you know what's better is this freaking chat right now. Um, I've been clicking through the chat. Uh, I want to thank everyone for joining us on a on a Sunday morning. My bracket. I'm first place right now, but we'll see. Uh, Marquette is kicking 
the crap out of Colorado right now, and I got them going to the lead eight. So we'll see, dude. But I got. Uh, I hope everyone's brackets doing pretty well, um, and I hope everyone's Sunday's going well. We don't have a pickles today again. He's he's. They hired him to to fix the door problem on them on yeah, those Boeing quote, unquote, jets. Quote unquote. Yo, know, they heard the podcast and they're like, yo. Come in we Sunday, need to have pickles bro. coming on a Sunday yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. He may not come back tomorrow. We'll see. I'll keep you guys updated on yeah, my Insta reels and stuff. Yeah, uh, fringe, fringe. Oh, fringe was a badass show, man. Yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, that was kind of my inspiration of today's show. Um, you know, when the acolyte uh, preview came out or trailer, whatever you want to call it, um, I didn't see a lot of movement in in, in some books. I haven't seen a lot of movement in a lot of like, you know, I, I listed a bunch of books just to get rid of them, honestly. Um, so shout out to all the buyers on my eBay sales lately. But, you know, it's it's really tough to to do new spec on Star Wars. I'll take it a step further. Any new Star Wars spec, you are, it's a fucking lottery ticket. You might as well You're put a lottery money. ticket with it. You're, You're burning, burning money. money. I've, you know, I've given some of these books a chance and I've bought them just because like, like, for example, this, this book who we get 20 viewers today Tell everybody, I'm gonna give this book away. I think you get like, you know, 15 to 20 bucks for this. Fuck it, man. I'm just gonna give this away to the, for, for the viewers here. Um, if we get 20 in the, in the show, this cover is amazing, man. I mean, look at that cover. I mean, Fedora, just, just by a comic collector like that. What do you think of this cover? Like legitimately? But, uh, I, I, I can't see it because the, the, the screen is tiny. Okay, my fault. Well, it's Star well, Wars just Republic. Zoom it into the, the camera. Zoom it into the camera. All right. Put it. Who's the artist? I don't even, I don't know. Harvin Turi. I don't know. But oh, the cover the looks good. That's the, that's the dude that, that, that gave me the, uh, that drew the Psylocke for me at the shop. Harvey uh, Toribio. Toribio. Yeah, yeah, this guy. Anyway, um, yeah, this yeah, dude. Yeah, the Filipino dude. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Yeah. So the cover is. I mean, and, it's great. I read it. Yeah. And I, I hated it. Hey. I hate. I hated the book. It was horrible. Yeah. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Now that's that CGC ain't. They don't need no witnesses no more. He signed my Psylocke, and he live. He live all the way in the Philippines. So. That's badass, dude. That's yes, awesome. I don't even need. I didn't. I don't even need a witness anymore. No witnesses just, needed. No witnesses um, needed. And you know, this is Dark Horse, like you know, Dark Horse Star Wars, which you know, Dark Horse is always short print. You know, they got good. You know, they got good stuff. But like, if you're really buying this book because you think one of these char- seventeen characters is going to show up in the Star Wars universe, like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't. This isn't even worth like space in my box. Honestly, um, you're rolling dice. I got another piece of shit fucking uh, Star Wars one shot. We'll go into this later. I'll give that away today too. Um, the the, the cut. Co- I'll say one thing about these Star Wars covers. They're pretty cool. If you like wall art, it's pretty tight. Um, shout out to Brian Show. They had they had the Takashi um, one in one hundred variant that my boy Ralph pointed out two months ago uh, or three months ago. It was like it was pre twenty twenty four. Um, there's a one in 100 version uh, variant of it. It's it's pretty sick, man. It just came out like this past week. Uh, it was that Star Wars uh, Visions, the second yeah, season. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, one in 100. It's pretty tight, man. And uh, yeah, shout out to those guys for putting on their show. The art. I was looking. So the art amazing on these Star Wars. Yeah. What's that? I said I was looking at a one in 100. I was thinking of getting. It was a mm-hmm. it was a black cat book by uh, Elizabeth Torque. Um, yeah. Uh, it was a jackpot. Uh, number oh, the jackpot shit. one. I've heard of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Who's like I, I? I think the art looks nice, and mm-hmm. also like who's ordering a hundred like, copies of fucking jackpot? Yeah, one, right. Like yeah, my book is garbage. So yeah, I, I like the cover. It seems like it could do something. So I don't know. I'll I'll I'll, I'll pick it up. Sure. Like, I like for black sure. Cat, so I, I don't feel like I'm I'm losing I'm losing much. Yeah. And, and especially now, like a lot of black cat covers, for whatever the reason, seem to be like they seem to be a little steamy these days. So oh, steamy. You know, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the the Captain Marvel four. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, you, well, um, you, you think that 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 cover blew up because Captain Marvel was on it? Well, no. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just like, huh? Maybe this might yeah. be something. Anyways. Yeah. No, you good. Um. 
Um, back to Star Wars and a, a little kind of thing. Uh, Commander Cody. Uh, I don't. I I don't know if uh, Wade's talked about this on the rewind, but we'll talk about this on Tuesday. Um, we I, we we are we're playing this new Star Wars Unlimited game, and it's pretty fun. I I I'm a little hesitant on the long term like collectability of it, but playability, hell yeah. So there's a lot of Star Wars going on. Um, again, my kind of inspiration was because the Acolyte show, and I, I haven't seen anything really bump up honestly, but. Without further ado, let's get into the let's get into the show. Um, so again, we're talking about this top Star Wars books to um, to invest in and not to invest in. I would say, and this is a tough list, I think, for both myself and Fedora because we're not huge Star Wars fans. But there's so much many books I could have picked that we got a lot of slides today. I'll be honest. I'll try and make sure that Fedora's uh, phone doesn't die here. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll get through the show here, and I know everyone's trying to get back to the. Uh, to the games too so um good luck to everybody's brackets colorado is only down by three let's go we are buffalo we are buffaloes we are colorado never mind what am i talking about Let's go back to the show all right so first you know i know like it's pretty easy like pick right star wars number one uh Roz go from like 200 to 600 depending on condition the new stand obviously goes for like quite a bit the canadian price variant though is like the gem of all gems i don't know if there's a mark jewelers variant but i'm not really into that i'd be down for the canadian uh, newsstand if i had some money and i wanted to hold this long term this hits every single you know star wars comic book star wars fans like collection you should have this it's been reprinted to ad nauseum um i have the version that's in Fact one of the similes. figures there's facsimiles of it so i mean as a star wars fan you should have this just to have it. Um, if you're like a hardcore rich Star Wars fan, I'd say get the Canadian newsstand variant. Um, it's a grail. I think everyone should have this in whether you're a Star Wars collector or a comic book collector. Um, Fedora, have you ever seen this like walk into your shop or do people ask for it? It's kind of weird. Uh, people, uh, people ask for it, uh, but we don't really have it. I think people that have it just don't want to sell it kind of know what it is mm -hmm. however i did see somebody on the cbcs uh, cbcs what i whatever uh facebook yeah. group did you see the guy that bought a packet full of uh star wars number one newsstands it's still in, a like, packet a oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the yeah, like in the crazy. strains and shit yeah 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 so that's um, that's funny that's a little bit scary to me <laughs> mm -hmm. Like right, if you're in bed, like when I see shit like that, I'm like, huh, I don't know if I want to like, I don't know if I want to buy that now. Some fucking guy just got a pack. Like, who's to say? Like, there's probably people out there sitting on tons of those, and they were all mm -hmm. newsstands too. So it's just right. like, and and you know how much I like, I I think newsstands are like fugazi, you know? So, yeah, yeah. Uh, but outside of all that, um, obviously. The demand outweighs the supply, so mm -hmm. you know. I I think like if you just like Star Wars, um, this just get is it. Book to get. Yeah, just get. Yeah, it. just get it. Get it. Get like a get like a copy from your youth. You know, because like how many times this book come out? Like I got the action figure variant. A uh, shout out to to uh, Blue Green Artifacts. Uh, good guy. He's a he's my magazine dude. Um, I remember this. I remember when it came in a, an action figure, and it's got a little. It's it's a different variation of the. I'm looking at it right now. Um, I'm gonna just get it to get it signed. I don't really care what grade it's in. I just want to have it. Real quick, I want everyone in the chat to say hi to Destiny. She's watching the show. Uh, Fedora, can you say hi to my friend Destiny in the chat? Yo, 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 what's up, D Murder? Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> yeah, yo, yo. That's, that's, that's her name now, D Murder. <laughs> That's awesome, yeah. dude. She's, she's gonna be horrified. Um, the next book hey. not to buy, please, everyone in the oh, chat, oh, do not oh, buy this book. Please oh, do not no, buy this. Buy book. That, but to add uh, to add on to the last book, now that uh the CGC is 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 not doing this JS, uh, they doing with JSA, and and you don't need a fucking uh what's this what's this uh, uh some fucking loser following you around watching you sign shit, some Momo, you know some now. <laughs> Yo, uh, li listen, like now this is a good time to fucking uh -huh. get these books, get these Star Wars books and fucking mm -hmm. go to these super special dick cons <laughs> conventions with all these fucking Star Wars people. Start getting those shit signed. Start going yeah. out there. 
start, you, you could probably get Mark Hamill's signature because he still does those conventions. You got to pay sure. probably fucking a, a, a dick and an arm. You know what I'm saying? But if you get that book, that number one, with Mark Hamill's signature on it, newsstand, now nah, we talking. That's the best. That'd be cool. Sir. That'd be cool. That's, yeah. That's the best investment in, in a, in a, for a Star Wars book that you can make right now. Because Luke is in the front of it. It's the first Star mm-hmm. Wars book. You're going to have yeah. his name on it. And guess what? You don't even need to have that fucking sleazy, slimy CGC guy following you around. Like, like mm-hmm. fucking Gollum for like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> oh my God. So, yeah. Next week we'll be doing a Gollum Lord of the Rings spec. <laughs> I just, that's got to be fun, dude. Um, but anyway, yeah, no, it, the, the whole, that whole new CGC thing is like different, man. Um, I know it's. I don't really try to do like like what's the hottest topic of the week because I'm not good at it. Um, but it'll be. I want to see what the prices are though. Like, if it's ten bucks to have a signature witness versus like twenty five. I'll probably go with the signature witness, right? But like today, I just bought a Witchblade Ace Edition Michael Turner uh, certificate. Michael Turner was like my favorite artist when I was a kid, and I've always wanted that book. So I have the gold label on it. It's a PC for me. It's not like I'm trying to like sell it or anything. Um, but I got it for like pretty cheap. Um, but yeah, back to the slides here. Um, Star Wars Hybrid Plug number five. Uh, real quick, I just want to thank everyone for coming through. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe. Uh, I want to thank Fedora for coming through. And I want to thank Jason for keeping all of us safe. All the 737 travelers safe. Um, yes, yeah, true. the Star Wars High Republic number five, man. Like, So first appearance of Homegirl from the new uh, Acolyte show. I don't even know her name. That's how like much I don't care about this book. The other thing, too, about this book is what I hate about first appearances with comics is there's arguments on what her actual first appearance is, but it seems like the market's gravitating towards this book. However, it's not really pushing anything. Um, maybe comic speculators are getting smarter within their kind of buying books on like, you know, uh, a trailer of some sort. But uh, with with the, I guess the assumption that the show's going to suck from Star Wars fans and this being a newer, high-printed you know, Marvel comic book and an argumentative first appearance and a bunch of different variants, a bunch of store variants. Um, I'm saying, do not buy this book. Fedora, what, what are your comments? What do you think about this? Uh, uh, I mean, like, I, I don't know. Like, Star Wars for me is like, it, it's so pretty much like I said this on the show many times. Like, mm-hmm. we all know that, like, all of the characters that they're gonna put in the shows are characters that are coming out now. That's like that's like a fact. Like, so buying anything uh, pre pre uh, Disney acquisition is like, what's the point? Unless they're super popular. Uh, but I, like, there's just so much going on, and since we know that Disney is like trying to crank out all these fucking crazy shows all the time, it's like. Mm-hmm. Well, I can buy this, right, for whatever the phone price is, and then, you know, then the next show might come out, and that might be, like, the hit. So, uh, usually, like, right. a lot of the shows, from, I don't watch any of these Star Wars shows, but from what I see, the general consensus is a lot of them are, like, hit and miss, right? Um, mm-hmm. Some people like some more than others, so I guess people are waiting for, like, the, the big, the big, uh, the big Star Wars hit, like wh- like which show is going to hit the biggest and what character is going to be in that show. So obviously mm-hmm. people don't think that this show is going to hit. And maybe it will. And maybe it will. And maybe if it does hit, that's when everybody's going to start buying it. So if you yeah. believe in the Afterlife show, buy the book. I saw the trailer. It looks cool. I don't have a problem with it. Yeah. But if you believe in the show and if you think it looks cool, um, buy the book, but if you if you don't believe in the show, yeah, you don't. that's a good point. Could, yeah, so that's a good point. I I mm-hmm. I uh my perspective is that it's a tough first appearance argument. I didn't really go into the most obvious you know, perspective of like if you believe in the show from what you've seen, and maybe that's what it is. Maybe there's not enough from the trailer that we haven't seen that proves or 
you know, kind of embraces that. Uh, or, yeah. Or so. maybe the spec is with that looking Jedi dude. Because that, that sounds crazy. Know. That sounds crazy. I don't know. Looking Jedi? That, that's yeah. the only reason why I care about that show. It's like Chewbacca holding a lightsaber. I got to see that show. Oh that's God. crazy. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, maybe I'll watch it. I know. We'll see. But um, it seems like a lot of people like X Men 97 so far. So. What the is fuck? The comic, the Wookiee Jedi dude. Uh, hold on. Sorry. What? What? Well, sorry. What was that? Is the Wookiee Jedi dude in, in like in any comics? I don't know. I don't know too much about Star Wars. Is the Wookiee so, guy in? Uh, no, no, no. Um, hold on. I'm gonna not share this anymore. Hold on. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. Um, I, I'm not really into that spec because. I just not. I don't know. Maybe. Um, I'm... We got a plug real quick. Uh, uh, hit up Comics and Tortillas. He's got a new manga show here. And yes, I am all about you guys plugging your shows or shows that you guys like. So do not, don't be shy. I appreciate everyone asking at least. Um, but man, we're all we're all good community here. So for sure, I haven't I haven't subbed to your channel yet, Comics and Tortillas. I'm trying to keep up with your other channel first. But I'm not a big manga, manga guy. But maybe Fedora will, will come through. Um, yeah, we'll. Let us know when you're doing a live show, man. Um, we'll, 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 uh, we'll promote you. They, re they reprinted Initial D. I thought that was pretty neat. Cool. Oh, that's cool. Um, yeah, yeah. I love it. I, I got I to gotta read that, too. Um, but this one's more of a personal kind of favorite of mine. I've talked about this Jedi versus Sith series. I think it's one of the most important, like, lore. Not so much live action, but, like, lore. Because in this comic book series is the uh, rule of rule of two. With a with the master and apprentice, um, this is the last issue of the series. It's a lower print run. I have this in a nine point eight just because I wanted to have something collectible to hold for this series. Um, you can get nine eights for like fifty bucks to like a hundred. Um, I have three nine eights in this book. Just I love it so so good or so gotta much. Get um, gotta get that nine nine. We'll see. Get nine nine. Um, it's not a hard nine eight, but the it's limited to copies because it's the last issue um kind of kind of your like you know if you want to shop for something that's really tough to get i've talked about this book before the the dynamic forces gold baron is a tough high grade it's it's a ghost in general uh doc joe what's going on man thanks for coming through man um he had some good uh he had some good questions about the new cgc signature stuff in the discord um you guys should reply back to him and, and give you guys his thoughts um darth bane was awesome and yes, he was a fucking son of a bitch, and he he's kind of a badass. He's on cover three of this, but um, yeah, Jedi versus versus Sith six of six. Pedora, I think you like this story. If you ever see the Jedi versus Sith uh, Marvel uh, trade paperback in your store, I think you should read it, man. I think you dig it. Um, do, do we? Have, sure. uh, we should probably have those. The Star Wars yeah. stuff takes up like a whole fucking a yeah. whole shelf, like a whole yeah. like unit. Not it's even a it's shelf, like. It's an earlier run, right? So it's like 2000s. So uh -huh. I don't know how, but like, as far as like, I've always wanted to know about the lore of like the Sith. Like, this is like a book you should start with for sure. So mm -hmm. um, we just talked about this book, Star Wars High Adventures number four. It just came out a week ago. Um, I saw it on a lot of FOC piece of shit lists and I saw it on a lot of IG piece of shit selling lists. Um, hey, buy it for the cover because my guy... Buy it for the cover. Buy, yeah. buy it to support my guy. Yeah. But buy it for the cover. The spec, do not buy it for the spec. I read the inside of this book and I stopped halfway through because I was so bored. It just, it's like they just wrote a bunch of people in and I didn't even know like who was a, who was a Sith, who was a Jedi. I, it, that's how bad it was. Um, I went into it with kind of like open, like hoping for something like good to read. And it was just, it was, just, it was horrible. Um, if anyone else in the chat's read this book, like, I apologize if you liked it. Um, if you did like it, let me know. I, I just don't know why anyone would want to hold on this book. Um, Fedora, this is like our classic, you know, we beat the drum on this all the time. This is a classic, like, do not buy FOC five copies and expect to make it back in return, especially with Star Wars. It's just, it's just ridiculous. Um, what are your thoughts you're on it? Because then you're going to be on your channel like, oh, yeah, it's going to blow up. It's yeah. going to blow up. And then. Yeah, then, then, then it's gonna go a nine point eight is gonna go for like fifteen bones. I know, looking crazy. Speak it, speak it. Oh, real, real quick. 
I was yeah. looking at Sonic ninety eight for screen. Mm. Yo, there's a there's a very fine slash near mint copy. Doc Joe, Doc Joe on eBay right now. I think it ended, but I, I was just curious. I wanted to see what would go. Last time I checked, it was at two hundred. I'm pretty sure the oh, bid is, is over now. Yeah. So so I didn't bid on it just because I want to see like like where the market is for that. I don't mm-hmm. want to overpay or underpay. I want to see. So but anyways, uh don't buy that book. Yeah. And you should always bring up that book, Sonic Sonic ninety eight. Doesn't matter what if we do a fucking like a, a sock show, like a show on specking on socks. Like like socks, you know? You should always bring that up. I don't know why I said socks, but because Sonic ninety eight, like like in my opinion, in my humble opinion, I think that's gonna be like 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 Sonic is like huge now. Iconic. So I, yeah, I feel like that's that's the modern book right now. That's the modern book to have. That's the modern you, book. You buy copies and throw them in a box in the closet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh Commander Cody's got a question for you, Fedora. He says, Fedora, is that the guy that drew that commission for you too? And I, I think it was, right? At the shop. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, yeah, it yeah. was. He, well, so, I, mean, I mean the yeah. covers of the cover's awesome, man. I mean, I would like Cover if you're a cover buyer, like cool. Do not pay more than cover. And if we get oh. twenty in the and we get twenty in the chat, I'm get I'll give it away. I'll give it away. Um, yeah, he'll give it away. You don't even yeah. give a fuck. Yeah. Then fly to the Philippines and see my guy. And then fly to the Philippines. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take <laughs> Nemesis Prime is in the chat. Oh my goodness. I'm honored to have Nemesis Prime in the chat. Thanks so much, man. I listen to your podcast he, he every day. He's every kind week. of famous. I see his uh Nemesis is the dude, man. His podcast is pretty good too. Um, he's, Nemesis he's famous. But... Matrix Comics is famous. Doc Joe, uh, Doc, Doc Joe has like all the yo, keys I've always wanted. Oh, yeah. please, I want it. Please, I will. I will trade you something for it. Like, I don't like, think come he'll on, give it bro. Up. I don't come think he'll on, give it bro. Up. Please, please, please. <laughs> you, you know, I don't flip and sell books. You know, I do this for the love. Yeah, Joe, Joe I will. I will trade you. All right, we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on because your, your phone's gonna die. We can talk about Sonic ninety eight. I'm I'm honestly worried about that. So, um, Star Wars forty two. We talked about this last week, so I'm just kind of going back to it. Um, Boba Fett first appearance with Dengar and Bosk on the front as well. Uh, I still I love this. I mean, whenever I see this, it it takes me back to like my time at like Toys R Us looking for a Boba Fett action figure. Um, I I think the show didn't do it justice. But it's not like people saw the show and were like, fuck Boba Fett. I'm never going to like dress up as Boba Fett ever again. Um, Red Hood during the pandemic kind of akin this to his rookie card. And I kind of just like, that's always stuck in my head ever since he said that. This was going for like 6K back during the pandemic. And news yeah. even for under 2K, which I still think is pretty expensive. Um, maybe 1200 is 12 to 1300 is a good buy. I don't know. Um, but I I love this book, man. I think it's a great book to have in your collection and just hold on to it for a long time. Uh, Fedora, just just not based on Star Wars, but just like overall pop culture. Like, what do you think uh, about Boba Fett? So I had a I had a uh, my ex girlfriend. I think I mentioned on the last podcast. She has a daughter who's a huge Boba Fett fan, and she was like, she loves Sonic and she loves Star Wars. Mm-hmm. Those are like the two things that she she loved the most. She was three years old and she wanted to be Boba Fett for Halloween. And if that that should already tell you everything that you need to know about why you mm-hmm. should buy this book. Three year old yeah. kid loves the Mandalorian, loves Boba Fett, loves Baby Yoda. Yeah. That's it. That's yeah. she's a lifer from like she's gonna right. show Star Wars to her kids when she has yeah. them. So exactly exactly lock it down lock it boba fett if you ever see a boba fett book at a at a shop you should always buy it um because yeah. that's like guaranteed like that that's a lock that's a uh what do you call it blue chip that's, that's blue shit there you go yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue chip. so that's 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 what i gotta say about that i love it all right moving on to the next one to not buy or yeah i was a little bit back and forth with this one um, i don't know what that is it's Thrawn number one. What's up? What's up, Renee? Uh, thanks for coming through. We're, all, we're four more people in live chat. I'm giving away books, so um, I'm, I'm giving away a good trade paperback and a couple, in my opinion, tough specs for Star Wars. Uh, this is Star Wars Thrawn. He, I mean, he's the Vader of this upcoming era. Is he like Vader's... Grand Admiral? Because I think that's like badass. That's a that, badass name. Yeah, Grand Admiral Thrawn. Um, he's uh, the leader of basically cool. like the. The Empire or the oh, New Republic. Cool. I don't know if I can call him anymore, but um, badass. I mean, yeah, I would I would say so because Vader's dead. 
I mean, if you're going through the timeline that it's going on right now, I mean, like, he's the focal point villain in Ahsoka. And people always say this, like, big time Star Wars villains, like, if you were going to do Mount Rushmore of Star Wars villains, Thrawn's up there. Um, I think Marvel's really hit, like, they really want to emphasize him to be kind of carrying the mantle from Darth Vader. Um, and I think it's a good... It's, it's sold a good, out. We sold had, out. Uh, yeah. Uh, they, they, did, they did the book, the novelization of mm-hmm. the... They did the comic version of the book. Yeah, the alliances. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that one sold out. Like The, the Rebel show? I, I mean, the Rebel show? Like, there's still a lot of story to be told about Thrawn that I think keeps me kind of, like, you know, in, enthralled. What's up, Crimson Terror eighty five? Thanks for coming through, man. Um, new new uh, addition to the live crew. Uh, so yeah, I, I think Et. Did I make you a? I don't know if I made you a plug. Hold on, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this real quick. Hold up. Hold on. Uh, Et. Hold on. What? Add as moderator. Cool. All right. Uh, sorry about that. Um, so I think. It's kind of expensive at a 9.8, 100 to 150 bucks. I'd probably wait for like 75 or try yourself at a raw, press it, all that. That Thrawn 5 variant, though, man, like that's a tight freaking book. Um, it's the last of the print run. It's got the dev, or you know, it's got the, um, oh my God, the Devastator. Uh, that's not even the right word for this ship, but. Um, I think it's a beautiful book, man. And nine point eight, it's gonna be pretty expensive. I think they go for like five hundred, nine point eight, or like four hundred. It's a little, it's a little expensive for my taste, but yeah, he needs to be the villain to keep Star Wars bad ass. Exactly, man. And I loved him. I fell in love with Thrawn and Rebels, and I actually read the book a long time ago when I was a kid. I didn't even realize what I was reading. I, I, I don't know. I was dumb, but uh, yeah, man, I freaking love. I love Thrawn as a spec. Um, 100 to 150 is a little high for me. I, I feel he'd get a better deal for that, but it's a tough 9.8 too. I've had a few of these 9.6, um, and you know, what that, whatnot, but the, uh, who, who did the, the Matina variant of this book, that one in 50, I believe doc Joe probably has like three copies of it. Such a beautiful book, man. Colorado ties it up. Yes. Thank you. Chimera. Thank you. Commander Cody. See, we don't know shit about star Wars uh let's move on to the next one uh about 40 minutes in thanks everyone for coming through it is uh i'm we are buffalo we, we are all colorado buffaloes today in the chat <laughs> i don't know it's whatever um but yeah next books darth vader star wars number 20 the uh darth vader 20 the variant with mando on the cover i feel like this was pushed as like oh oh you did have one damn and doc joe does have everything Dacho, are you a moderator? Hold up, man. I feel bad. I didn't make Dacho a moderator. How horrible of me. Hold on. I will do this real quick. God damn it. I'll do it in a second, Dacho. Um, but uh, I feel like this was pushed as like, you have to get this book. It's a first cover. It's Mando's first appearance, blah, blah, blah. But like, I felt that this was like a $5 book and, and people were selling nine eights for like a hundred bucks. And I just did. It felt weird to me. I'd rather have the Mandalorian 2 variant as his first app because that cover is just so much better. Um, I don't know, man. Fedora, when you, I know you saw this book come in, the, in your store. Like, what'd you think of this book when you, uh, like, as spec? Or were you like, oh, I, shit, I, I gotta I, get that I, book? I, not in I thought it was a cool book, but if he wasn't showing up, yo, what the hell? Uh, I thought Jesus it was a cool Christ. book. But um, I, I felt like if he wasn't going to be in the actual comics mm-hmm. like then there's just no point like like, like i like i feel like uh any of these books like with the with mando and baby yoda like if they're not in the star wars stories like if they're not showing up fucking yeah. blasting thrawn in his fucking stupid face mm-hmm. then like what's, what's the point because I, I know that they did like a comic book version of the of the show and then they were like, oh, this is his first appearance. And I'm like, who cares? This is like this is not even real. This yeah. is not even real. Right. Like, so I, I think the in my opinion, the book to get would be whenever he shows up in like the comic, whenever he's canonized in the comic. I don't know if he is. Yeah. It, so maybe one of you Star Wars guys could help me out. But I'm pretty sure I, I haven't seen him show up officially mm-hmm. in any of the, the, the stories. Him interacting with Doctor Afro would be sick. Or oh my gosh, that would be pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, but I don't. And know that'd be a tell too. 
that would be a tell also like if he interacted with dr afra then yeah. that would that would shoot up you know um yeah uh the comics embrace and that's kind of like our point of our show today man like uh I just think there's a lot of books out there that are going to be five dollar books or just drop increasingly. And yes, Doc Joe, you everyone should. I think everyone does recognize you as the man. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, man, uh, I I uh, I don't like this book as a spec. Um, that's just my opinion, though. I may be totally off, but yeah. Uh, I know we're only at seventeen uh, live right now, but I'm gonna set up the wheel for a giveaway. Um, in about 20 minutes or like a couple slides into it, I'll tell you all what a hashtag to write. Um, I'll throw in a, a couple other books too, just for fun. So I just want to thank everyone for joining us on March Madness. Um, Colorado's down by five, but that's all right. We got some time. So The madness has been crazy, bro. The madness has been crazy. And yes. I love Mandalorian. Like as far as like the best new Star Wars characters of the past, you know, whatever iteration this is of Star Wars, he's the top. I mean, like... Our wide receiver, uh, what's his name? Who's a wide receiver? Seahawks, Seahawks, Seahawks. Uh, DK Metcalf. His he so he so DK Metcalf Fedora is our wide receiver. He has like a visor, like a black visor. Wow. And he's a badass dude. His nickname is the Mandalorian. Oh, because he has the visor. He's got the visor, and he's just he's a badass. Um, sit to OG run and Dark Horse. Yeah, I think the I think actually the Dark Horse run, it's good breeding. And a lot of the books I, I picked are a lot of Dark Horse books, just, just because of the comic book collector, not so much the MCU stuff. Um, but Mandalorian number two, uh, this was the first full appearance of Mando and Story. I don't think he was in the first book or something weird like that, but this cover is just the one in 50. It goes for like 30 to 35 bucks. I have like five copies, man. Like I feel like 16, 17, 18 year olds five to 10 years from now are going to be like, Oh, I didn't know about the star Wars Mandalorian number two variant. I need that in 9.8. And that's kind of my thought with this book. Um, just because the Mandalorian has kind of pushed that envelope into the kind of the near, like he's now pop culture verified in my opinion. Um, I knew that. And the easiest kind of tell is like Halloween kids are dressing up as Mando and baby Yoda and little girls love baby yoda and little boys like baby yoda too um and I'll, i think the fact that the mandalorian kind of lore is kind of like on the cusp with like sith lore um it makes mando a more likable i wouldn't say anti-villain but just character in general um which like uh, Nemesis was saying earlier, we need more badass characters. They don't necessarily have to be villains, just be like badass. That's what makes Star Wars so cool, or just, just Ryan in general so cool. Uh, That's why we need Dash Rendar. Dash Rendar would be tight, man. More bounty hunters, you know? Um, it would never happen. It would never happen. I, I feel like Mandalorian's like like the like a Ronin. You know, if you go back to that Star Wars original kind of Japanese culture, he's like a Ronin, right? He has no master. They kind of mess with his like character in this past season, but he's, he's, yeah, he's based off of that lone wolf and cub. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right there, man, you just got to base off the good stuff. Um, anybody have any of those anniversary variants with the Resistance crew? I don't, man. Um, I didn't really get into that those books, but uh, Fedora, like, is she, does Baby Kong? Does she like Mandalorian? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She she likes she likes like the whole, her mom was like really big into uh uh. Uh, uh well does she like oh my 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 kid uh mini cop nah yeah. she's not really into like the nerd stuff like she's she's more of like uh uh she's doing mma she's like a skater i i tried to bring her into a comic book store but she's just like i don't cool, that's cool. but yeah that's cool yeah she she's she's like i don't know she's she's way cooler than me Mm. but almost too cool for me like her her int our interests are similar but she's yeah. so different yeah. um i know she's a big fan of oh, the joker shit. um so she she's really into like the the batman dc stuff and mm -hmm. uh so she's really excited for like the new joker movie that's coming out but outside of that she doesn't really she doesn't really understand i try to explain the collectability aspect and then she's just like, this is all like flim flam. 
Flim, flim like, Flam. Uh, uh, yeah, she's like, ah. She's, yeah. she's like Dolan, like, on a live herself, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I, yeah, yeah. She's just like, bro, like, this is, I, I brought her to the shop once, um, and then she was like, word, cool. And then she's just like, <laughs> She's like, like, can we go to the skate shop? And I was just like, uh, all right. <laughs> just, just his heart just broken, dude. <laughs> yeah, bro. Dude, dude I, I, what? You know, it's hella funny. So my little nephew, he's like 12, and he was cleaning his room up. And my sister comes over, and she was like, oh, so Andrew's cleaning up his room. He's getting rid of stuff. And she's handing me a stack of comic books that she that I gave him that he didn't want anything to do with anymore. He was like... He was like yeah, the old mom, like getting like clean out his closet of like comic books, and I was like, "Oh, all right, well, I yeah. guess that's cool." But you can't force kids to like stuff, right? Because like if you, if you you force them to like things, they're not gonna like it, you know. Especially if dad yeah. or like uncle likes it, right? So well, I'm I'm happy that she's into skateboarding. That's and, dope. And, that's cool. And she's she's into she's into MMA, so that that's something that we talk about often, like skating, yeah. and, and and we we go to like the skate parks in New York City, and and we, we yeah. rip the we rip the pipes, so. Um, there you go that's so, all that matters so that's, man yeah that, that's good but keep yeah. it thorough he's famous too keep it thorough is good dude man um i like you know it's you know um so i know like like i'm i'm privy to this as well um watch keep it thorough's like shows from two years ago and like it, he's proof of life man like he he talks about stuff that is still um i would say relevant for a longer period of time. And that's the content I like. I like looking at people's stuff from, you know, when everyone was doing it or uh, like when no one was doing it. And I like watching keep it thorough stuff like from back in the day and I'll leave a comment yeah. and, and it's just, it's, it's kind of cool. And it, it kind of tells you like you're, that dude or that person's doing like good stuff. Um, so shout out to keep he, it thorough. Thanks, was, thanks for joining us, man. Kept it thorough, which is why I like him. Yeah. 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 He's, he's from, uh, I think he lives in, um, like Pennsylvania, but he's from New York too. So, um, yeah, good dude, man. And thanks for com- thanks for watching, man. That's an honor for having you coming for you coming through. I don't know, I can talk. I'm like nervous or something. Um, I was kind of I was kind of like back and forth with this. Uh, yeah, of course, man. Anytime, bro. I appreciate you coming through. Um, I was kind of back and forth with picking this as like a no buy, but so Cad Bane, we talked about this in the past, I believe. But I just want to bring it up again. He dies, like the or dies right in his like second appearance in uh what was it? Oh my god, I can't remember. Not Obi Wan, uh, Mando. Yeah, Mandalorian, Mando. right? Or Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Boba Boba Fett. My Boba bad. My bad. Boba Fett, Mandalorian. Man. Um, and like he was so cool, <laughs> right? Like that's that scene was like the clip of that whole series. You know, like that was the clip, and then he dies. Supposedly. And there's been rumors that, you know, you didn't see him actually oh, die on camera. Dead. Yeah, oh, right? He he might come back. But I just think there's so much back and forth with him being alive and dead and da da da. If you like the character, go ahead and buy it, right? I'm gonna, I'm just going to go back to that. But if you're like, he's going to come back. I haven't heard anything of him coming back on any, on Reddit, on X, on YouTube, on anything. It's just speculation. So it's a tough call for me to make. Um, 25 to 50 raw depending on the day the asia variant's beautiful i don't like it particularly but a lot of people do it's just kind of mary jane plain he's not even on the cover of this book so that kind of dumbs it down for me as well i like i like the character i love the character um he hasn't hit mainstream in what in my opinion i haven't seen him as like a cosplay or like a you know whatever um now what do you think fedora on on the goodness of cad bane what's up dz he looks cool. He's like yeah. he's like the dude with the he's he's like the western guy, the cowboy western guy. I uh, I mean I know a lot of people like him, um, yeah. and I know uh, uh, that book when it was coming out, it was a big deal. But I only bought it because I like Darth Maul, and then I bought the first two issues, and I was like, yo, this is garbage. And yeah. then like I stopped reading it. Uh, but I think Cad Bane as a character has the potential to be as big as Mandalorian. Um. So I would say, I mean, it, it would be dumb not to bring him back, right? So, yeah, I, it, yeah, it, it would be so stupid not to. So I would say, like, if you put a gun to my head, I would, I would say he's likely to come back. Yeah, um, but like when, right? It's like I mean, got so many shows that are going. I mean, like. 
this new Acolyte show, sorry to cut you off. Like, this is my thought process with him is that you got the Acolyte show coming out. And then I haven't even looked at like the timeline for other shows coming out. So I know you could probably slip him in like a different timeline and be independent of the actual run. But it's just so tough to like to like sit on this book for a hundred bucks and nine point eight, in my opinion. Um, oh, okay. I I kind of agree with that. Um, I do like his blue face though. So anyway. Uh, we got 18 in the chat. Uh, we're almost an hour into the show. Uh, we're almost done, I think. Uh, again, I just want to thank everyone for supporting us. We'll do a giveaway at the end. Um, hit that like button. Tell all your friends. We're trying to get to 600. We're at 581 uh, last time I checked. And uh, trying to get monetized, man. We're like 500 hours away. We dipped a little bit last week because I was out of town. But it's all but good, man. Bird's like going to give me like the, my 10 cent share per month when we get monetized. <laughs> yeah. I think I'll probably get ten cents when we get monetized. Yeah, I'll probably. give you like I'll give you like a penny. Thank you, uh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> keep keep it there. Says Star Wars characters like Cat eventually get turned bionic over time. Yeah, for sure. And that's kind of like what my thought process was. I was kind of like, eh. Um, but I was sad that he got killed off, man. But I get it. It makes sense with the show. But it is what it is. Um, uh, let's see here. This one's another personal favorite of mine. If you are playing star wars on any platform whether it be xbox ps5 which is the best um i don't know if it's on switch but switch is a very underrated system as, as well um star wars jedi fallen order the number five first appearance of cal kestis who is my favorite hero of the past 10 years he's fucking awesome he doesn't get as much press because he's not on the or the star wars uh cartoons or what have you but for video game players people know this fucking character man um i think this is like a double spec because you have the first color of trilla siduri who also is in the she's like the antagonist of the game sorta but it's a tough spec right because it's he's only in the video game people said like don't spec on him coming to the mcu i don't give a shit man like this is a greatly written game uh, i i, I, I think he'll, he's definitely gonna go into the the the, the star wars lord yeah isn't he like an actual i hope actor? so man isn't he an actual actor cal Kestis? um like i think the voice for him i i don't know um the other there's another game you might be thinking of um power of the force i think he's an actual actor because he was in he was in uh i can't remember the, the, the movie, star wars but... ea games right this is star wars ea games but the other game you're probably talking about with the mini comic, uh, that was a different. I don't. I don't know if he'll ever make it. You know what pisses me off about these games, man? They have these amazing storylines, and it's like easy to follow. And like the writers from the video games, they should be taking those guys and having them write Star Wars or Marvel or Sony because they do a really good job of doing it. And I and I feel like the the fact that there's a second part to this game like there's a number two game like how the fuck do you not you know it just doesn't make any sense to me um cody i apologize i i thought you were a moderator hold on a second here boom okay uh yeah you, you never played any of the games though have you fedora i played the ea ones i thought they were really good i mean story-wise like are you fucking yeah, kidding me yeah. right yeah they're, they're, they're pretty good the story is good uh they had that that sith lady with the yeah. with the yeah, Sith lady, yeah. that's her. Yeah. Oh yeah, buy that book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 buy it, buy it. I always say that's a good buy. Uh, so, go ahead. No, nah, I yeah, that's that's a good buy. I, oh, I, that's I her. Like it. Buy it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She she was pretty good. The the actor, the voice acting was really good. Uh, the game's felt, fun. Yeah, she felt imposing. I'm like a, a big uh com- like I I like video game comics especially if you get the number ones because they're not printed that much yeah because nobody really buys the video game comics yeah um and you know how we you know how we all feel about video game comics in this chat too right we do we do yes yeah yeah. so i think in the off chance that like how much is that even uh this goes for like hold on this goes for like a hundred raw it's ah. kind of tough and high grade. Uh. And I think so. This has been on my watch list for like ever. And 9.8's asking are like 400, but it doesn't really move. 
So I would, I would, I would, I would caution people to buy this to like try and get 400 bucks to like 800. I just don't see that happening very soon. But um, if you can get a nice copy for like 75 and get a 9.6, I don't think that's bad. Um, but it's the last issue of this series, and it's a double like key. So that's why I like it. Um, it's it's a personal kind of deal for me too. So I'm a little biased towards it. Uh, another one that I like, it's not her first appearance, everyone. Her first appearance sucks, by the way. It's that Mace Windu, uh, Mace Windu number one. It's just Mace Windu on the cover, that purple little ugliness. Um, Asajj Ventress, man, I know, so spoilers, she dies in the cartoon, but I could see her being inserted somehow in like a, just a show that's like in the timeline of Star Wars. But 24 bucks raw for this book. And I know it's Dark Horse and Fedora. I know like you have some like pretty good information that you shouldn't spec on Dark Horse uh, characters for live action because of whatever. I won't go into detail. But Asajj Ventress is a pretty cool character as far as Star Wars is concerned. Um, and Dirge is tight too, man. Yeah, Cody, this is kind of the reason I picked it. Um, who knows? She could, she might show up like in a video game. Who knows? But like, as far as like finding those female heroines, or not heroines, uh, she's she's not a she's a she's a villain. She's the best one in my opinion. Um, she's even on that Star Wars annual I think twenty that has like all the main like um, uh, Sith lords, and she's like the only female. Oh, what up, Paul? Oh, I had a uh, I had a California burrito the other day, and I thought of you. It wasn't the carne asada wasn't very good, and the papas were very dry. So just want to let you know. Um, I don't know who the artist on the on this cover is, but man, all those Star Wars Republic Dark Horse books, sick as hell, man. Um, yeah, I love I love it. Now, what do you think about this book? Or what do you think about the character? As like that? what? Who me? Yeah. No idea who that is. Okay, never mind. <laughs> um update my my colorado buffaloes are down by three with 54 seconds left uh, i think my bracket might be busted i got them going to lead eight so um is what it is uh okay cool let's move on to the next one <laughs> <laughs> um do not these are my do not buy these books for spec um these this is our last uh this is our last slide for the today uh, again, I just want to thank everyone for coming through. Uh, we'll do the giveaway of some of these books. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll shoot you guys off to March Madness. Uh, so we got that Star Wars Darth Vader first cover of Darth Bane in the... It just came out. Boo. Um, that's We got the Star Wars High Republic. Uh, what is this? Adventures number four came out a couple weeks ago. Not going to buy it. Um the Star Wars The High Republic. I don't even know the fuck that is. It's a ratio, though. Um, I don't know about that book, man. It, it's I've seen on FLC lists and just not really. I don't like it. And then another great cover. This book, Star Wars High Republic. I just posted about this on my uh, on my Instagram. Um, I knew a guy that was talking about this on FLC. And, you know, however you guys want to make your money is cool. But what really takes away from this hobby is people pushing something and then going around on a different like kind of medium and then they uh sell the book yeah that they're yeah that's the you know like i feel like especially when we're trying to get like new people into the hobby and like when you when you push not not just not just that dude in general but during the pandemic i was seeing like a lot of people like just trying to push like garbage awesome. and i'd even dm them like yo bro like why, why are you pushing garbage like i don't i don't like why and then yeah. they'd be like oh you know this could be the next big character trust me you watch and i'm like no bro i'm a thousand percent sure that this is this is not going to be a thing bro um and even when like i remember when dmx died uh there were a bunch of like sellers trying to like sell his like hip-hop homage for like 200 bucks like the, the the blood of the blood and like oh right it's yeah and, and and then you know like when when you see like you know people die 
And like the first thing you think when you hear somebody passed away is like, mm-hmm. oh, I'm going to flip this book that I have. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? And, and it's kind of like that mentality was very, very, it was very heavy during the pandemic. And that's kind of what was making me frustrated is because I've been a part of this hobby for like 10 years, you know, and uh, the for, for majority of it as a reader, uh, and then like the last five years, six years as like, you know, just speculating and buying and doing whatever. And I would say that like the pandemic has brought upon the worst that I've ever seen in a community and in in ways that I'm just like people just pushing shit just to like like beating new people coming into the hobby over mm-hmm. on on their heads. It's like this is what the hobby needed. And at the same time, like we needed more people to come in. We needed to like guide these people and say, hey, uh you know if you if you want to buy a book that's valuable, mm-hmm. let's let's make sure that we, we, we lead you into the right direction. And then we get like a wave of people on Instagram selling fucking toast in one in 25s for $1,200. And mm-hmm. I'm like, this is a fucking flim flam. And then you got this fucking Captain Carter guy fucking, you know, saying all this, uh, all this garbage. Then you got this F- FOC guy still, you know, saying like, oh, if you buy this book, trust me, you're going you're gonna to make money. And then he sells mm-hmm. it on, on some really weird back end deal. People aren't dumb, you know. Maybe you could catch them once, twice, three times, or maybe even four or five, or maybe even ten. But <laughs> that one person you burn a dozen times, yeah. When he finally gets it, he's gonna go back and he's gonna tell all his buddies that may be interested in, in potentially joining this hobby, mm-hmm. do not do it. These guys are fucking scammers. Yeah. And then that's how we don't grow the hobby. Yeah. Because I don't see like you know what's funny is like the one the one part of the industry that should be pumping stuff is like the retailers and they don't do that they just i, I if you to go into a comic book store is i i always go in like hey what's the what's the good read of the week and they'll be like oh you got to read this da, 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 da. and then when they say like oh what's where's the hot book they almost get like annoyed to talk about it and at first i was like oh because like they didn't order enough copies or something but i think it's like they don't want that customer but it's kind of a hard kind of like, right? It's it's a hard kind of medium to go from, do I, but I still have to sell to that guy. You know, I'm in mortgages, right? And there's some people that are just tough to deal with and they make my, my job tough, but I still have to cater to them because I got to put food on the table. Um, but yeah, I, and and this, and like, I mean, I'm sorry. Like there, there are really good top 10 lists out there that say, they don't say buy this book. In fact, they say, like our good friend Stein, um, and Brian, and uh, who else on the show? Red Hood, Aaron E, and uh, my boy Dollar. Um, they say sell these books when we talk about it. You know, the thing about comic books, and then we'll get into the giveaway. It's an unregulated market, so what that means is, no, there's no higher entity or organization that says, hey, like that's not a good thing. You have to stop doing that. Um, and then when someone calls him out for it, um, which Thor does an amazing job at, he gets attacked for calling out the same shit. Or like when Nemesis Prime comes out and says like, hey, this guy's on whatnot, it's on bullshit comics and like stealing from people. He gets called out. So it's like even like I'm not we're not trying to really be policers, but um, but like doing stuff like this every week and saying this is like you, you're dumb if you don't buy t- 10 copies of this. It's just not sustainable. And Frankie Gonzalez, man, yeah. Um, they kind of ruined the hobby just a little. It's fun, though, to be right, right? But, like, I would say for sure, like, all these books here, they all went up, like, 5 to 10 bucks even past cost, and then they just dropped. Like, I- the Star Wars one shot was, like, 25 bucks, like, six months ago or whatever year. I don't know how long ago it was. And then... It's a, it's a, it's undercover today. I found it undercover, and I found a nine point eight of this book for fifteen bucks. Sucks. Um, what are you gonna say, dude? No, I, I just think like, I, you know, I, I work at the shop, and 
we get a lot of customers um and i i kind of like the I, like i know who's gonna flip books i know who's gonna do that and you know i get it right like mm-hmm. you gotta you gotta reinvest in the hobby and you gotta yeah. do all that stuff yeah, but sure it's like i remember i remember this was like when i like recently i was we opened up the shop at like 8 8, 8 p.m or whatever um and and i was there, there was like a line out i forgot for what book and then a customer like grabs me by the shoulder before i even i don't have my red bull i was half asleep he was like yo do you know if if, if, if you have this book you have this ratio uh-huh. and then i'm like i, I haven't even i don't even know <laughs> right like i don't i don't i don't i only work weekends i don't even know i, I don't know anything you know and it, it's those kinds of people that we get all the time it's like you're, you're like i'm a minimum wage worker bro like <laughs> I don't know anything. <laughs> yeah. It, oh, shit. Just, um, of what? Uh, so for like, for me, like I'm, I'm, I, I don't like those kinds of people and I don't like those kinds of people that'll come in three different times. Like there's people that know the shift of rotation. So they'll buy mm-hmm. one book. They'll go to all three locations, buy a book, right. From each store wait till midday right and then Mm -hmm. they'll wait till like all the staff like clocks out then we get like the mid-shift people and then they'll go back to the different cat cat and it's like bro like what the hell you know and i like the hot books to go to like the new people that are getting into the hobby because i want them to be a part of that excitement like oh i got the hot book this is so cool and and you know I don't want the excitement to go to like the same guys all the time. So gotcha. it's, that's one thing that I want to make sure that like everybody share the excitement. Don't be that guy. You know, like I work at a shop. I, you know, I could have, sometimes there's a customer that misses out on a book. That's a new reader. And I go, yo, you know what? I have one in my house. I'll give it to you. You know, and I think we need to be more like that, you know, so uh, fuck those guys. I went on a, a spiel, but yeah, fuck those guys. <laughs> That's all good. Um, I'm going to do the giveaway a little different today. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to have Fedora and myself pick our favorite um, Star Wars character. From the past. No. I'm going to have the chat put in your fir- your favorite Star Wars spec for the next five years. And Fedora and myself in the private chat will pick the winner. So you guys have 30 seconds or so to just pick. Uh, just put in the chat. Uh, I'm a, I don't do, want to do drawing. I want to make you guys do a little bit of work today. And then we'll pick the best one. Do you think that's cool, Fedora? Is that cool with you? Oh, I, yeah, sure. I mean, I don't. I don't. We can. We can do it. My right. my my favorite my favorite Star Wars characters is Valance. That's his name, right? The dude with the Terminator face. Valance. I don't know. Maybe. He's a Star Wars. He's the cyborg dude. It's him. It's uh, Arden Lynn and Dash Rendar. Dash Rendar. Uh, I like that. I like. I'm gonna go a little easy on this one. It's a pretty easy. It's I. I'm really. I, if anything. Okay. All right. We got some coming through. Um. Actually, I won't say mine because I because then someone's gonna pick it. Um. And you can pick either a comic book or a character. It, it doesn't matter. Um. So let's see. We got Doctor Afra fourth print for spec. I, I kind of like that. We got Thrawn number one. Okay. Star Wars Darth Maul, Mandalorian one and. And okay, uh, Mando. Okay. Ooh, okay. All right. There's Grogu. Okay. Any more? Uh, oh. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Yo, my Fedora man's was... my man's went out for a second. <laughs> Fedora was like yeah, so annoyed with the out, spec. Bro. He was like, I can't take anymore. Hmm. Okay. All right. Cara Dune to take down the map. What's her? Oh, character. Okay, that's cool. Um, 
Let's see here. All right, I'm gonna give it about. Okay, no, no I mean that's it, we. You could have talked. We could have talked about it for sure. Our puck number three. Okay, Afra. Um. Here, I'm. I'm gonna tell, and we didn't have to talk about it. Did you get my uh, at message? Which one do you like, yeah, Fedora? Yeah, I did. I did. I did. Uh, oh, okay. Nobody ain't, say any, nobody ain't say anything I like yet. All right. So we're going to highlight. He uh, he actually did say it. He did say it. Oh, he said it? Yeah. All right. Then that, then, then, then that dude. Whoever, All right. Whoever said it. So um, we didn't talk about this spec today. One of probably the most liked video game slash spec characters in Dark Horse, Commander Cody. You are the winner. Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah. Revan is coming with a vengeance. Uh, we like your pick, I, man. I, I like that I one. Believe, I believe Dark Revan. Dark Revan. He's gonna he's gonna show up at some point. They just gotta figure this shit out. I think like that's the only Dark Horse character that I feel like yeah, bar none, a thousand percent. That like if you put if if somebody was like if Dark Revan doesn't show up by the time you're like 70, I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna unalive you. I'm gonna track you down and unalive you. Like I'd be like I think Dark Revan's tight so, because like he was what everyone wished Luke would have done in the third trilogy. Like gone so close to the dark the dark side and then came back. Um I don't know if they'll ever make Darth Revan like an actual character, but if they do that kind of synopsis, I'll be happy with it. Um, nah, I think they have to. They have. But to. I wish they would. I really wish they would. And video game video gamers love him too. Um, I love the cover of his first appearance. Not so much the in story, but like, yeah, I think it. I love that pick, man. I didn't talk about him because I've talked about Darth Revan so many times, but yeah. Um, <laughs> we do, we do kiss his ass, man. And uh, Brad, you're the number one uh, Brad for the for the month. And I mean, we only got a week left, but you're the number one Brad for the month, in my opinion. So, uh, well, that's the show. We that's the show for today, uh, oh, Cody. Oh, also, also before I, I just want to talk about the current event. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, just a little bit current event since I got a little a little battery left. Um, <laughs> Yo, that that uh, listen, that CGC acquisition with uh, with uh, JSA authentications. Oh yeah, 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 man. But but in my opinion, you know what that tells me? That tells me they 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 need to they need to make money. Mm -hmm. That's uh, uh, because I think people felt a lot safer with CGC only because like you needed that slimy guy following you around to sign the books just so that they don't feel like they're getting got and um i think now after the pandemic they got so much you know uh submissions and they were getting a lot of business and now they lost that so they're trying to f i guess they're trying to find new ways to like open up their revenue stream mm -hmm. and there's a lot of artists that are passed away that you can't even get their uh like dave stevens has a lot of signatures i used to see dave stevens books signed in the mm -hmm. dollar in our dollar bin Mm -hmm. Um and there's like a lot of stuff that customers find in our dollar bin signed books, mm -hmm. signed uh Mignolas, signed Dave Stevens, signed this, signed Michael Turner's in the dollar mm -hmm. bin. And it's like you can't get those graded. So yeah. I think that uh it, it's gonna be interesting to see like are they still gonna get a gold label? Are they gonna get what like how how is that if they don't up? do gold label, I think that's a bad yeah. idea. I think they can put like witness signature or witness verified, like CBCS does. Um, you know what? You know to kind of. I think it was a smart move by CGC, in in an economy that is starting to kind of like shake out some of the people that don't really want to be in the uh, hobby anymore. Imagine this though: what if they bought that company during the pandemic? They probably didn't pay as much as they want or paid or, or they probably put a bid in for them like a couple years ago and it was like they, the numbers just didn't check out because they were in so many submissions but you're right man i feel so i feel that it was a good move by cgc i bet you they bought they did the numbers and they said if we can acquire this company and we can get people going in dollar bins and submitting them for like 20 bucks a pop 
the valuation of this of the signature like company and, and I, they're probably not doing as much like business right um i think that really does a, a it's gonna bump up cgc's numbers it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna kill cbcs because that's what companies do man they don't acquire the com competitor they kick them out that's the that's the best way to do it so i think cbcs is done so think, think of all like the cro like you could just buy a cbcs signed slab right now and, and cross grade it now it, it, like like yeah it's just and also like now they're getting into vhs cgc's getting into vhs they're grading vhs they're grading oh. video games they're grading like think think of it like this um i could get a sealed copy of fucking metal gear solid go to a convention see david Hayter, sign it send it to cgc Mm -hmm. JSA authenticates it, right? Yeah. So it, it's like this is not only just about the comics aspect, mm -hmm. but this is everything. All, this is sports. This is this, this is like this yeah. Is, this, is, this is Fedora signature can be authenticated. You can get Ferds. You can get uh, that Jackass at Boeing's. Um, yep. Signature authenticated. Yeah, man. Like it's it's. <laughs> Uh, Listen, they this is the best move for CGC. Yeah. And I think that like especially with like CGC trading cards aren't really all that people they don't really get a lot of, of movement, but mm -hmm. CGC is battling with PSA for that yeah. number one spot. And now that they acquired JSA, you could get right. these Pokemon cards signed, send them out. Right. And, and get it verified. So now this is like, this puts them right there with PSA, uh, with Pokemon. This puts them as the top VHS, the top video game verifiers ever. So, uh, yeah, that's a that's a big dub. Yeah, big it's, dub. you know, and it, it moves so quick. Like, everyone's already pre prepping for it. Like, myself, I mean, I'm one person, right? Like, I bought that Michael Turner... I mean, I can't imagine how many Michael Turner golds are going to be like sub now, man. That's it. it's, what's going to suck is like if you had a verified Michael Turner, which I don't know if it's possible, like with the gold label, like that's going to probably drop in price. Or I don't know, maybe maybe it's like when it's verified, Michael Turner's will probably go more for than like verified signature. They just better do it right, or you're going to have Keep It Throw is going to put another fucking like show about uh, you know like on. Well, he kind of did already. Um, if you guys haven't caught, Keep It Throw did a pretty good uh, show on kind of the acquisition and all that. Um, he did a pretty good job on it. I, I, he, I he be violating it. people. He he be saying what I be wanting to say. But <laughs> I just I just I just don't have the time for it. So he's, he's got the platform too, and he yeah. and like he he's like breaking news. <laughs> you know, he he'll come in like like an hour after, but it's like it's a good show, man. It's really good stuff. Um, well, but, I gotta go back to. I got my my back my brackets busted. Fedora's phone's about to die, and um, hope you guys again. Uh, Cody, hit me up in the DMs. I'll send you some books and some extra stuff that you might like. Uh, thanks everyone for supporting us today. I want to thank Fedora for taking the time out of his busy schedule, and uh, fuck pickles. That's all I gotta yo, say. Yo yo, fuck Dolan. We outside. Fuck, fuck Dolan. Nick's fuck pickles. Next tape. Next tape. Everyone say hi to Destiny. Yo, Wait. D murder. D -Murder, D -Murder. We outside. We outside. Yo, yo, D, if you ever in the New York City area, we're gonna go to a Knicks game. We can eat some halal. We can get a bacon, egg, and cheese. I love you, Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys have a good weekend. Take care. All right, see ya. I'm I'm D leaving everything now. All right. Goodbye. Cool. Bye bye.